I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what to the difference between label and literal controls in ASP.NET. So the first difference is text property. So uh, inside label, the text property by default, it's written label. And here in literal, you cannot find any text property. So by default, it's a blank. So let's uh, see add here. So first uh, at this point, uh, inside uh, Oh, let's cancel that one and here let's go to the design. So, and you're going to take uh, literal. So, if you drag there, now here you can find the properties of uh, literal. So, here by default it's a blank. Okay, so you need to write after that you can use. Now, here after let's go to our uh, next is. So this is the label. Okay. Now here just uh, take uh, right at your label. Label. Now label is written. Now here you can find the text property of label by default label. Okay. Here after that you can remove something and write there. So the first difference is label control has by default text property. But literal by default it's a blank. Now here after the next is layout. So you can uh, set height and width of the level control. But the uh, layout property cannot uh, use inside literal. So let's uh, see there. So this is the first. Okay, let's uh, first check here level. Now let's make that bigger. So here somewhere you can find layout. Okay, layout. Now here you can uh, change the height and width. So if I do some drag and drop option. Okay, now do one thing. Let's go to the layout. Let's give add here 100 and 100. So you can set at your height and width of the label control, but uh, you cannot find uh, all these things with literal. So here there is no any layout property inside literal control. So this is the second difference. Now the third difference is mode property. So inside label you cannot find uh, a mode property, but in literal you can find mode property so let's uh, check there so this is literal now here you can find uh, client id mode now here you can use predictable iodo static okay now here you can find client mode now if you check inside add here level so level you cannot find client so inside client id mode it's inherited Okay, oh, let's go up. Now here you can find client ID mode inherited. Okay, you can find the same things there. But to what written there? Mode property. Okay, mode property. So we, I'm going to check mode property. So okay, here is the mode property. So mode property you can use inside. On literal so there is the three transform pass through and encode now here after let's go to the here a label control so at this point you can fi cannot find mode property so at a client id mode here enable so this all property is there so mode property you cannot find inside level control so this is the third difference now you can check at your appearance. So with level control, you can do like, uh, or you can apply on the level like back color, border, border style, border width, CSS styles, this all those things. But to add here inside, literally you cannot do. So this is at your appearance. So this all property is there. Uh, back color, border style, border width. And here you can find font for color, but in literal you can only find text property.
So let's check there. Here, this is a letter. Now that uh, make that bigger. So here there is appearance. Here you can only find text property. Now the next uh, thing is so title. So in level control, we cannot use uh, this all those things like uh, inside title we cannot write level. But to uh, for literal we can use at here or oh, literal inside a uh, title we can use the literal so let's un uh, understand by example now here let's go to the source and here let's uh, cut and here going to paste inside title and here let's uh, set the text property text property going to write hello now if you execute you cannot find any error so there is no any error so it's a displaying at here hello now the next thing is let's go to at here or label now here go to the source now here the same thing let's cut and a paste inside title now here this is the label runner server now going to write at your text property going to write hello now so here you can find at this point or green signal element level is not known element this cannot to occur if there is a compilation error in the page page so that means we cannot use at here level control inside title so let's execute here so there is a one error finding there were build error would you like to continue no so that means at here we cannot use level control inside title Now the next difference is here rendering option. So level control comes between a span when a page loaded. Now here this is the example at here. So there's nothing. Okay, let's go to the source. So here let's press control Z. Okay, now here execute to this level part. So, so there is no any error. So add here right click here view source. So here you can find level control. So level control comes inside a span tag. Here yeah, span ID level one. This all these things. So this is a span closing and ending. Now here after the next thing is execute to literal control. So add here this is the example of literal control. Now here right click here you can check view source. So it's uh, nothing. It's a uh, display. So we'll do one thing. So first, I'm going to write uh, something of inside text. Okay. So text uh, and in double quote, going to write hello. So it's a displaying hello now again view source. So add here or uh, I used hello or text of letter. So see add here it's a directly displaying hello inside tape. So there is no any span tag and there is no any other HTML tags used by letter control. So this is the difference.
so level control comes on inside a span but later control or not so that means later control not use any estimate time so this is the fifth or sixth important difference between level and literal control in ASP.NET. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.